What's up guys, Curtis here and welcome to a brand new pretty cool solid squad builder. Today I'm using a bunch of players that I never see in teams as well as some transfer players and a bunch of other really cool players. So before we get stuck into it, what I do quickly want to say is if you want a fast and reliable coin service, check out utcointraders.com. As always, there's links to them in the description down below. But anyway, let's get straight stuck into it with the goalie and we have Stecklenburg on loan, well not on loan, recently transferred rather from Roma. Was absolutely incredible in FIFA 12, one of the best goalies on the game. So I thought I'd give him a go in the, with his new Fulham card, with his 86 diving, 83 reflexes and 80 positioning. Was pretty decent for me. Left back, we have Wallace. I believe his name is Ross Wallace. And another really surprising one. He's got really good pace, really good defending, really good heading. And uh, always seemed to be around when I needed him. A very solid uh, left back and also has links with everybody around. Also, quickly, in my last episode, I asked people what price ranges they wanted to see stuff in. And this is one of the ones that was most uh, heavily requested. You'll be able to see the price range in the title. But second centre back is Russell Martin. Moved from uh, either a left back or right back for his inform. 70 pace, 77 passing, 80 dribbling, and 73 heading was pretty decent for us. Second of the two centre backs is Jan Vertonghen, not in form. Obviously you can get in forms and team of the years and stuff with him, but uh, I've gone for the not in form one to keep the price down for you guys. Right back we have Richie De oh, not that guy, Richie DeLate. We'll see him in a sec. There he is. Uh, Belgium, very, very quick right back. 87 pace and uh, very, very rapid indeed. Over in, we'll go. We'll start with this one, and it is uh, Jakob, the centre mid from West Brom. 71 pace, uh, but really nice all-round stats, like good defending, good heading, good passing, good dribbling. Kind of like the main man in this midfield. Over in right mid, we have Nanya Lang, who was very good indeed. 84 pace uh, and did a very good job in the midfield. And, uh, yeah, some really nice all-round stats. Again, very good defending. A very defensive uh, midfield, but uh, it really helps the uh, the back four out to have that. And then we have Graham Dorhams who is a, a Scottish West Brom player. And again, a really interesting one. I was surprised. He was actually really good for me. A really nice all-rounded stats. And I was shocked at just how pretty decent this squad was. Uh, centre forward, we have... Uh, Zarate, very pacey, got a lot of our goals, 91 pace, 88 dribbling, 4 star skills, a very, very good centre forward indeed. Over in left striker, we have uh, Jovetic, very, very good, I've done an overpriced versus affordable with him, but he's got 81 pace, 81 shooting, 75 passing, 87 dribbling, and 76 heading, was a very, very good one as well. And then in right striker, we have the transferred Carlos Tevez, obviously getting the strong link with Zarate, as well as the, uh, the club link with Jovetic. Now, Again, another so very good uh, player. It isn't the sh uh, the quickest front two, but when you've particularly got Zarate of all the pace behind, and 81 and 83 pace is still very decent. They're both very good players. All three of the front three have uh, four-star skills, which is great. Really good dribbling with all of them. Good heading when you need it. Uh, just really, really solid. Good close control. Great finishing. And a really good striking partnership. So uh, that's the end of this little team bit. I'll go on to the gameplay and talk a little bit more about the team over there. So the team was, like I said, very impressive. Uh, I, I wanted to build a team out of players I very, very rarely see. And obviously, uh, Zarate and Jovetic you see a bit. But the transfer, Tevez, you never see. I've never seen someone use their team of the season, Jakob. Nanyalang is a very, very good uh like hidden gem, I remember using him last year as well. Very good, 84 pace and some great all-round stats, as I said. Dorans, I don't think anyone even knew he existed other than West Brom fans, and he has been fantastic. Um Left back for me, Wallace again was very good and never see him. Russell Martin again, like all of these players are ones you rarely see or transfer players and stuff and it was just a really cool team. I really enjoyed using it. I seem to find that more often I enjoy using like this team over like a really random team. Bunch of really cool players just choked together rather than like a full team of the season team or something. I don't know why, I just enjoy building really cool teams and stuff. But that is the end of this episode guys. I hope you did enjoy it. Subscribe to this channel if you did enjoy it. There will be plenty more videos like this coming out soon leave a like as well if you did if we could reach 400 likes that'd be absolutely fantastic i'm going to be live streaming whilst this video goes up there will be a link to that in the description down below but thanks again for watching i hope you enjoyed it have a nice day and i will see you guys next time Bye bye